Hi everyone, this is Danielle and welcome back to Passport on a Plate where I show you recipes to make you feel like you're traveling the world from the comfort of your very own kitchen. This upcoming weekend is Valentine's Day, so today we are doing a full-on tutorial of chocolate covered strawberries. I'm going to show you what you need, how to melt your chocolate so that you can get perfectly dipped strawberries, some beautiful designs so that you have everything you need to make this decadent dessert for whoever you are celebrating this Valentine's Day. So let's grab our ingredients, come jump in the kitchen with me, and let's get started. Okay, so I've got my strawberries already prepared here behind me. I'm just using one box of strawberries that I got from the grocery store. I rinsed them already and made sure that they are thoroughly dried. It's really important that you dry your strawberries well because water and chocolate do not mix. If you get any kind of water in your chocolate, it's going to do something that's called seizing and it's going to harden up and be impossible to dip your strawberries and it's really hard to recover your chocolate from that point. So we want to make sure that our strawberries are perfectly dried. I've got them lined up with the smallest ones on the bottom and the largest strawberries on the top of my tray so that I can show you the best designs for each size of strawberry that you have. And then I've got our melting chocolate here. I have dark melting discs here that happen to be Ghirardelli. You can use any chocolate brand that you want. You can use store-bought chips, Nestle, anything will do. And most bags have melting instructions on the back as well. And then I've got some white chips here as well. We'll be using dark chocolate and white chocolate today. It'll be a really beautiful contrast on the strawberries to make super crisp lines and beautiful designs for us. Let's get our chocolate chips melting and let's get started with dipping our strawberries. Here on the stove, I have two double boilers set up to melt our chocolate. So what you need for a double boiler is a pot of boiling water on the bottom, a heat safe bowl to put your chocolate in, and your chocolate, of course, making sure you're not getting any water in with the chocolate as we talked about earlier. So I have our white chocolate already melted right here and our dark chocolate melted over here. For a double boiler, what you're achieving is boiling the water to create steam that'll gently melt this chocolate without burning it. If for any reason you don't want to do a double boiler, you can absolutely use your microwave as well. You just want to make sure that you're using the chocolate in short increments in the microwave and you're stirring it anytime you're taking it out of the microwave to prevent burning. So we've got our chocolate melted and we're ready to start dipping our strawberries. I have our strawberries here washed, dried, and ready to go for dipping. I have them arranged by size so that I can show you which design will work best for each size. Along the bottom here, I have the smallest strawberries and medium-sized strawberries. These are going to be best for simple designs, just a straight dip in white or dark chocolate or polka dots or stripes. Up top, I have our biggest strawberries here. If you've dipped chocolate strawberries before or you're looking for something more complicated and more intricate design, we're going to make some tuxedo strawberries today. We're going to be dipping these largest strawberries in white chocolate and then we're going to make a little dark chocolate tuxedo jacket, some buttons, and a little bow tie to go with. So let's get started with our dipping. To start, we're going to get our largest strawberries dipped in white chocolate as the little shirt for our tuxedo strawberries. So we're going to take a strawberry like this, grab it by the stem, and go ahead and dip it in the white chocolate that you already have melted on the stove right over here making sure to get any excess off of the strawberry and set it back on your tray to dry. We're going to get these dipped and let them harden before we continue with the details for our tuxedo jackets. Next, we're going to prepare our medium-sized strawberries to make striped designs. So we're gonna alternate dipping these strawberries in white and dark chocolate so that we can make different colored stripes on these strawberries. So we'll take our first strawberry here, similarly by the stem to our big strawberries, dip it in our dark chocolate that's melted on the stove, making sure to dab off any excess, and then we'll set it right back on our tray to dry so then we can draw some stripes on these strawberries. The last set of strawberries that we need to let set before we can draw designs are going to be the small strawberries that we're going to put polka dots on. So let's get these dipped alternatively, similar to the medium sized strawberries in dark and white chocolate so that they can harden and we can get our polka dots going. Okay. 
Okay, so we're ready to put the details on our tuxedo strawberries. So a little behind the scenes hint, you don't have to cover the back of your strawberries for this design. You just need to have the white chocolate on the front of the strawberries. So we're gonna take one of our strawberries here and we want to dip the back in the dark chocolate that you have melted already, making sure that your stem doesn't come off. So we'll get the back coated and then using a spoon, you will just angle the dark chocolate down the front of the strawberry to make a little V, getting this coated over here, and then angle it right down the other side to make the other side of your tuxedo jacket, making sure you get the sides covered as well. If you've got a little bit showing, that's okay. And then we're going to get any excess that we can off the strawberry and set it back down on our tray to harden. So we'll let that jacket sit and then place our spoon right over here. Using a toothpick, we're gonna get a little bit of our dark chocolate and we're gonna make three buttons right up the middle of your strawberry. So you have your three buttons here and now using our same toothpick and a little more dark chocolate, we're gonna draw our bow tie at the top here. And you can make your bow tie as large or as small as you want. It certainly will improve with practice. It may be a little lopsided the first time you do it and that is totally okay. They are your strawberries so you can make them look however you want to. You can continue dipping back into your dark chocolate until you have a perfect bow tie. And then we're going to let these sit and harden and I'm going to put these details on the rest of our large strawberries here. Okay, so now it's time to stripe and polka dot our strawberries. So I have a piping bag with my melted chocolate here. I did get this put into the piping bag by using a drinking glass. So I used this glass that I had here to stand up the piping bag and fold the edge over and pour my chocolate inside. And now we're going to just snip off the end of this piping bag so that we can get our stripes and polka dots. And I wanna make sure that my chocolate is coming out the way I want it to and then we can get to striping. Just gently go across these and then stop the bag and we can put some polka dots on as well. This would also be really well done with a toothpick for your polka dot strawberries, but the piping bag is fine too. And you'll notice I have two strawberries that I did not dip yet. I'm going to dip them so that they're freshly wet so that I can show you another stripe design that works when the chocolate is still wet when we drizzle over it. If you don't have a piping bag like this, that is no problem. You can use a sandwich bag and you'll just put your chocolate into the bag, make sure it gets down to the corner here, snip the bottom and it'll work just as well for you. Now we're going to do the same thing with our white chocolate that I have right here, also in a bag. I'm going to snip the edge, make sure it's coming out the way that I want it to, do our polka dots as well. White chocolate is a little trickier to melt than your dark chocolate. The dark chocolate were melting discs, so they melted a bit easier and they stayed a bit more fluid than this white chocolate did because these were some white chocolate chips. But these are still working perfectly well. Get our polka dots on here. Okay, now I'm going to get these dipped so that I can show you this other design. 
So I've dipped these strawberries in dark chocolate now and we're going to drizzle them with our white chocolate real quick. Perfect drizzle. And then using another toothpick, you can drag your chocolate to make these really cool stripes. And this will only work while both layers are still wet. So you wanna make sure that you dip the strawberry and drizzle right away as opposed to how earlier we let our strawberries dry before we drizzled them. All right, we're all set. We've got our strawberries all set here. We've got our tuxedo design strawberries up top, our striped strawberries in the middle, and our polka dot ones right here on the bottom. I hope that you've really enjoyed this recipe. As you may have noticed, I was struggling a bit in the video when I was dipping with the stems coming off of my strawberries. If you're having this issue, Obviously, you don't wanna drop your whole strawberry into the chocolate. If that happens, it's fine, but you can just grab your strawberry by the top here while you're dipping and just hold on to it in case that stem does come loose. And if you've got leftover chocolate like I do, don't throw it away. Use it on peanuts, pretzels, potato chips, fruit, other candies, anything that you want to. Just save that leftover chocolate. Let me know in the comments below what you use your leftover melted chocolate on and who you're making these strawberries for for Valentine's Day. As always, if you've liked this video, give it a big thumbs up below. My recipe will be in the description below. And subscribe to this channel so that I see you every Wednesday when I upload new videos. And I will see you next time to bring your passport to your plate. Bye!